go to and you're watching this oh that hurt real quick guys this uh, video is sponsored by ams oil more on that later Well guys, time to add the oil. AMS oil break-in oil. Highly recommended by a lot of people. I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, I don't necessarily need, well, I take that back. The break-in oil is not as important because I'm running rollers, so, but I still think I should do it. The uh, SAE 30 is what AMS oil recommended for the type of oil that goes into this, which is like 10W 3040, but because of rollers and so on and so forth, definitely do your research when you guys pick yours out, but this is the one they recommended for my 302 roller so so basically i'm going to add the oil and it's time to prime i'm going to be priming the uh engine to make sure that all all the oil gets every everywhere it's going if you guys watch the channel much you guys saw that i primed it a long time ago after installing a lot of the components like the lifters and the rockers and so on so i want to make sure oil got everywhere and it did so i'm going to test it again but if you guys have a 302 and you're watching this oh that hurt um the size of the rod inside of your engine that goes to your oil is one fourth. So just find a one fourth, fits great. You can kind of compare it or do whatever test on the bottom of your distributor if you'd like. Um, but yeah, so get a drill. And uh, I had to do the research on if I'm supposed to go like clockwise or counterclockwise and stuff. So do you guys know that you can add oil through your distributor pull? <laughs> Uh, I don't want to install my valve covers and basically, yeah, I don't want to install my valve covers and I want to see the oil come up to um, my rocker. So that's the plan. It's also a great time to find out if you forgot to plug something up and have a leak. When you guys are looking for oil, especially with AMS oil, you guys can contact them. I believe they have a phone number. They also have a dealer that you can contact and they can do the research for you um, and tell you which oil to use. So that's kind of nice, you know? If you guys are interested in this stuff, I'll put a link down below. I'll try to add one above maybe, um, depending where you're watching this at. And you will have a link to a bunch of oil products and everything like that. And you'll save a pretty decent amount of money. I believe it's free shipping over a hundred dollars and you guys get 25% off. So it's a pretty good deal. Alrighty guys, so this is a lifter without oil, and this is a lifter, lifters that are getting oil. And you just have to keep going counterclockwise until all of them have it. Now like I said, with these lifters I've done this in prior uh, video, so I know that they all get oil to them. Um, but I'm just going to do it again, just to have everything get oil before I ever even think about attempting to start this. Here we go, let's see if these will do it. Better late than never, but uh... they're all getting oil. So, boom. Next, uh, so that means the oil pump is working, which I checked before I ever put it in. And of course, um, as you guys can see right here, um, I'm going to be hooking up my oil gauge uh, mechanical, and we'll be checking oil pressure whenever um first i'm going to test it with this to make sure it's reading anything sometimes i know i just saw in the 4 to 400 world groups that uh, you won't get much of a, a reading on there but if you get anything shows that your gauge is working so i'm hoping that's what i get out of it and uh yeah there you go 